What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? Oh, what could it be that's hiding in here for me? What's in the box? What's in the box? Is this a model kit or what's in here for me? What's in the box? What's in the box? How hard is it to put together? Is it made of leather? Hey, what's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Today's episode of What's in the Box was filmed right here at Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Hello everybody, it's Trevor Sleski, owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. So today I thought we would do some What's in the Box. And we've got the Games Workshop Garden of More. And I thought this was a fitting one because it's October and that means Halloween is coming up at the end of the month. So there's what the Garden of More looks like on the back of the box. This is a nice set from Games Workshop. Retails for a good price too, which I can't mention here because of the Games Workshop policy. Anyway, this is uh, the box up close and you can see the gatehouse with the little spooky ghoul guy inside. And they show on the side there's like a chapel with a couple of skeleton guys there. So without further ado, 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 uh, oh, we also have like various languages here in the age, which is 12 up. So let's take a look at this wonderful Citadel miniature from Games Workshop and see what's in the box. So what is in the box? Well, let's cut off the plastic and find out. So an easy way to do this is you can see where the box meets the other, the bottom meets the top. Let's put your knife, hobby knife in there. I've got my old Scout pocket knife from 1986 here helping us along. Oh, one thing you'll notice here is a paint chart. This paint chart has been updated and I happen to have the cross-reference sheets for that in the store, but that's not the key thing. So let's see what's in the box. Oh, look at that. Isn't that wonderful? Look at the detail on here. So the first set, sprue. This is a sprue tree. These are the parts on the sprue tree. First sprue tree we have is showing the little gatehouse. So you can see like those are the outer walls and there's part of the gate there. Now let's move this. There we go. There's the gate. There's the outer walls of one of the buildings. Looks like a statue top. Turn it over. There's a couple of gargoyles. And the detail. Look at how crisp that detail is. It's upside down, but crisp nonetheless. This make a great model to paint. So with this set, we have a duplicate wall, the second piece, because these these fit together. So you got your temple. They're kind of hard to tell be able to see more when we clip these off the sprue and build it. And look at this one. There is, there we go, there is that front gate, like on the box where the guy was standing. There's a pedestal mount for the statue here. And a rounded corner for our walls. Looking at the back. I mean, look at the detail across the back. It's front and back couple of symbols you can put around your graveyard. There's some more walls and things. And here's our final piece, which is the basis for these projects. So I mean look at this, there's there's a little groove there to help you align the walls for that building that sits on there. And these are tombstones with all the different engravings on them. Which you can do some detail washes and paints. That's for the front gate there. There's another uh, monument, small one, with a little door. These are kind of based off of... Whoops! <laughs> Kick the camera! That's great. Hope it didn't make anyone seasick there. See, look at that. There's a guy in the coffin, too. So, I was going to say, these buildings are based off sort of the Louisiana tombstones, where they have the uh, shrines and buildings above ground and that's because there's a lot of flooding there so you can't have them underwater otherwise it lifts everything up so they make them in these special concrete things so that that doesn't happen so that's the plastic bits 
and then they give you the uh, multi-piece instructions. I guess I have to angle this a little bit. And that's how everything goes together. So the front and back, the statue, and it drops on the base. And there's the little buildings, the little chapels. And that one there shows you sort of what that looks like. And there's the uh, little monument with, they give you a lid for that coffin. And then it shows here, when you get it all together, there's the outer perimeters in the darker, darker picture. And then there it all is together. So it's a pretty, pretty cool kit. All together, the Garden of Moor is a really awesome looking kit. If you see this on the shelf at your local games workshop or even in my store, make sure to really check it out and maybe you might want to pick it up for your Warhammer games in the future. So I think we should do a second part to this and that is once you have the Garden of Moor, um, in the Age of Sigmar game you can play that in a, land, a realm called Shish which is the realm of the undead. So your Garden of Moor can have that option. And Oh, and the other thing I like about the Garden of Moor is Remember when it showed all the buildings together like that? Whoops. These are all separate, so you can actually pull them out and you can pull the gates apart on it. So you could actually get two of these. You could build one on a wooden base that you'll have to cut yourself, you know, get some wood from the hardware store. But you could glue this right down to the wooden base as it is like this, or you could make a, a sheet and glue just the fence and have the building separate so if you're doing a, a tournament game or whatever and you need buildings separated all over the place you could pull them out or you could have everything loose like they suggest so lots of options there so i think what i was going to say is when you're in the realm of shish with all the undead you need undead armies so in our next little what's in the box we'll look at some of those armies so tune in, and if you like Monster Hobbies, check us out, www.monster-hobbies.com. You can also check us on our Facebook, Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada, or stop in our store, Unit 42B, 11th Avenue in downtown High River, and the phone number is 403-652-5019, and we'd sure love to see you. And we do Warhammer Age of Sigmar on Facebook. Wednesday night, uh, sorry, Warhammer Age of Sigmar on Thursday nights starting at 7 o'clock and we run, um, we're currently using the General's Handbook to make up point run games. We also do uh, quest games where you see, um, you go through the realms and you can collect all the, tri tro 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 the triumphs and the trophies and things like this. And it's a lot of fun, so come on out. Don't let my tongue messing up my lines scare you away because we do a lot of fun things at monster hobbies so you should come on down and check us out we're also looking at doing four tournaments next year for age of sigmar and 40k so we look forward really really forward to seeing you come on down saturday is a good time because you got a lot of time off to come down and check us out so we'll see you either thursday night seven o'clock for age of sigmar or on Saturdays. Talk to you later. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, sign up, say hi Trevor, how you doing? Type all kinds of great things in the comments. What you like about Warhammer Age of Sigmar? I'd like to know that. And do you play a Vampire Count's Army? I want to know. My eyeballs want to get very big. Anyway, check us out. We'll see you soon.